everyone. I'm Kelly Hinseth. Welcome to Dog Dynasty defending the title. Three-peat. That's the golden phrase or word, if you will, that every Bulldog fan, every college hockey fan has talked about leading up to the 2019-2020 season. Three-peat is one thing we've heard, but we've also heard turning the page. The first time I heard this was from Captain Nick Wolf at the Bulldogs ring ceremony this past August. He said, quote, we'll enjoy them, the rings, tonight, but tomorrow it's time to turn the page and then it's a new season. We have the manpower to do it, win another championship, and we have the staff that is the best staff in the entire league. So yeah, we're excited for this season and we have high expectations and hopefully we can fulfill them. But what does it mean to turn the page? Does it mean we don't talk about last year because we're focusing on this year? Or does it mean, hey, we've got the guys, we've got the weapons and the coaching staff, let's do it again. I think it means a combination of all those things. We've built this legacy, this dynasty, we want to continue it. Heck, the dictionary definition of dynasty is a powerful group or family that maintains its position for a considerable time. The Bulldogs have maintained the national title for 567 days now, over a year and a half. By definition, I'd call that a dynasty. But with that being said, over the next half hour or so, we're not going to sit here and talk about will they or won't they win another national championship because obviously there's a lot of hockey to be played between now and April 11, 2020 in Detroit. We are instead going to celebrate the accomplishments that have been accomplished, bring you a history of three-peats, and give you a different perspective on the dog dynasty as they look to defend a title. With that being said, first, Neil Viersba has a look at how the dynasty came to be. April 9, 2011 is a day that will forever be remembered by Bulldog fans, but it was also the start of something special, making their first trip to the national title game since 1984. UMD and Michigan battled it out, eventually heading to overtime with a score at two apiece. Then came the moment Kyle Schmidt scoring off the no-look behind the net pass. Champions at last, UMD's first in program history. Following that historic season, UMD would come close to achieving their second national title, including in 2017 when the Bulldogs were back in the national title game. But they ultimately fell short, falling to Denver 3-2. The following season, UMD made the national tournament by the slimmest of margins, 0.0001%. Just like their first title game, the game was neck and neck between the Bulldogs and the Fighting Irish. UMD would score early and score often. Two first period goals, one by Carson Kuhlman and one by Jared Thomas would prove to be the difference maker from .0001% to now two-time national champions. Coming off their second national title, UMD would leave no doubt. With an NCHC Frozen Faceoff Championship under their belts, UMD was back in the national tournament. After a close call against Bowling Green in the first round, UMD would roll all the way back to the national championship game. The only team standing in their way was UMass, but as the puck dropped, UMD would outperform their opponents in all aspects of the game, scoring once in each period en route to a 3 to nothing victory, leaving no doubt indeed the Bulldogs are back-to-back -back national champions. And with that, now they go for the three-peat. But just how special would that be? Matt Halverson has the answer. Call it the Triple Crown. The Holy Grail bringing together three national championships. I'm not going to write for Matt. Whatever. It's yeah, out there. Why not? you got to embrace it. I mean, it's something that hasn't happened in 50 years. Well, actually, 66 years. The only team to do it was the Michigan Wolverines back in the 1950s when they won five of six college hockey titles. And Scott Sandlin says you can't run from the talk. It's okay to think about. Like, I mean, every, every team goes into the... I'm not going to... We can't, can't run and hide from it. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty cool, actually. Right? Mm -hmm. every, every team goes in wanting to win the last game of the year, right? Eight different teams throughout college hockey history have gone back to back and have been in this position to chase the trifecta. And this Bulldog team will have their shot. If they're not thinking that way, then we're not, we're not setting our goals high enough. 
So why do they have a chance? Continuity. Their losses from last year, just three senior forwards and a pair of young standouts that left for the pros. Their biggest reason they have to believe, number 32 in between the pipes. And as soon as we won, we made, it's like saying he gave me a hug, calling another handshake. Right? Was, we were just like, well, let's just do it. We might as well try and do it again one more time, right? So like, <laughs> I pretty much told the guys, like, I'm not leaving. I told him that straight up that I wasn't leaving. Goaltender Hunter Shepard with a dominant 12-0 NCAA tournament record in the crease is back for his senior season. He's a goalie. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Um, I just love his competitiveness. Yeah. I always have. He's a backbone of our team. I mean, he's uh, one of our hardest workers, one of our fiercest competitors. The last team to go back-to-back -back was Denver in 2005. The Pioneers have actually done it on three separate occasions, but each time have missed the national tournament altogether the following year. The Gophers did it in 2003, but were eventually beaten by the Bulldogs in the regional finals. We won hockey champion the Bulldogs are Boston bound you know how much work it is to to get back there and how hard it is to do it it's a new year uh we got, again we have a target on our back but we embrace it and uh it uh, gives us it makes us play better when teams come in here and try to beat the national reigning national champions it makes us be better and that'll just lead to playoffs and lead to hopefully knock on wood another championship knock on wood indeed make no mistake this is hard. And now their 76th season, the Bulldogs didn't win their first title until just eight years ago. Yeah! Even in any sport, it's rare. It's happened just five times in the NHL and NBA, just four times in Major League Baseball, and has never happened in the NFL. And even for UMD's 2018 title, they needed things to set up perfectly to overcome a .0001 chance of even getting into the tournament. But you need to win two to win three. And as the ninth team with a chance at a three-peat, the Dogs have their goals set high. Well, still to come on Dog Dynasty, we'll have a freshman perspective on back-to-back -back titles. But first, some trivia for you. How many UMD Bulldogs were on the 1980 Miracle on Ice roster? The answer when we return. Charter NEX Films is seeking material handlers and extrusion technicians to grow their skilled team. We offer competitive wages, a $1,000 retention bonus, benefits day one, and advancement options all in a stable, fast-paced environment. Apply online today at charternex.com. Why do I stop at Quick Trip? Top tier fuel for my vehicles. No fee ATMs. Nature's Touch Milk from Quick Trip's Dairy. Healthy snacks for my family and more. Now, save even more at Quick Trip. Download the Quick Rewards app today. Receive rewards for store visits, digital punch cards for free products, surprise and delight rewards, and cents off on fuel when you purchase qualifying products. Download the Quick Rewards app today. At Wittis Trailer Sales, customer experience and satisfaction is our top priority. Located in Esco, Minnesota, we stock a full lineup of enclosed trailers, snowmobile trailers, and cargo trailers from brands such as Aluma, Look, Pace, and more. While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Our skilled parts and service team is here to tackle all your repair needs. Wittis Trailer Sales in Esco, where customers become friends. Minnesota is a special place. We have a lot going for us. Did you know that we have some of the largest undeveloped mineral resources anywhere in the world? And it's right underneath our feet. Copper, nickel, titanium, and cobalt. And we can develop these resources without harming the environment. Mining would add $3.7 billion a year to Minnesota's economy. That's why I support mining in Minnesota. We support mining in Minnesota because it'll be a slam dunk for all Minnesotans. The brisket is back at Herbert and Gerber's in Duluth, Superior, and Cloquet.
Charter NEX Films is seeking material handlers and extrusion technicians to grow their skilled team. We offer competitive wages, a $1,000 retention bonus, benefits day one, and advancement options all in a stable, fast-paced environment. Apply online today at charternex.com. Welcome back into Dog Dynasty. How intimidating is it to enter a locker room of players that have done the unthinkable? Well, I sat down with all of the Bulldog freshmen to find out. Infanti, I'm a goaltender and I'm a freshman. I'm Brandon Percelli. Brady Meyer, left wing. Quinn Olson, uh, Luke Lohite, uh, right wing, freshman. Did you watch last year's championship run from end to end? I remember walking into like, the locker room last year at juniors and uh, seeing it on TV and just thinking to myself, I might be playing there next year. It's just an honor to watch. I mean, just to see the guys compete. It's hard to believe like when you're watching those guys that you might be playing, you'll be playing with some the following year. Like, what they did is just like, it, it's, um, it's unbelievable. Like, I mean, some other teams have done it in the past, but I mean, to have a program that can do that back to back, you need to be pretty special. I was actually on a road trip when they were playing Providence and my whole boss was pretty much watching it on the way up there. so. It was pretty exciting having everyone know that I was coming into this school and everyone was paying attention and kind of giving me like crap on the bus. To be able to see that team win and know that I'm coming into that program next year is pretty exciting. What kind of feelings did you feel knowing that I'd get to learn from these guys, I get to play with these guys and potentially do it again? It's a team that most kids want to play for, so it's, it's unbelievable coming in here. It's nice to have kind of that good leadership group to come down and trickle down to us young guys. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool to watch. I think it's a lot like similar to my game. I play kind of a hard nosed game. Um, just watching like Wolfie out there laying the body. I try to like kind of model my game around playing the hard nosed game. When you came in, you know, first day maybe, was there an intimidation knowing this is a program that has done something that not a lot of programs have done? I mean a little bit. Two back to back championships is pretty big, but I think just coming in and I mean, we're just worried about the season right now, and we'll see what happens. Even the year before, no one really expected them to do it, and they proved in the playoffs that if you work hard enough and play our style of game, then the result's going to end in your favor. First game of the season. Third banner this decade to go up at Amsoil Arena. Do you look up there and think to yourself, I want that? Yeah, for sure. Honestly, I mean, that's what I've kind of talked to these guys is we have a pretty, we have a pretty good, like, uh, core that's come back from the past two national championship teams. So, I mean, they're, they're, we have a lot of uh, upperclassmen, juniors and seniors. So, I mean, this year it's kind of just be really cool to, like, build a bond with those guys and become close because they might not be here the next year or the year after, right, just to kind of maybe learn some things that they have. I mean, with all the experience they've had the past two years, they definitely had goosebumps. I mean, when you hear some of the, some of the, some of the alumni that just graduated, like Carson Kuhlman and stuff, talk about congratulating us. And then Brett Hall, as soon as he came on, I definitely had goosebumps. And I mean, just hearing the roar of the arena and seeing how special it is to, I mean, the guys that won it and the coaching staff and uh, just the staff in general. And then especially the fans, it was, uh, it's pretty cool to see how much it meant. You don't really want to get c complacent at all. I think, um, just want, it, it, the biggest thing by doing that is to show what you've done, but also to kind of put it in the past and focus on what, what's to come next. And I know you, you guys have jobs to do, but a little bit of an, you know, you just feel like, man, I'm just so happy to be part of this. Do you feel that? It's a little overwhelming. Maybe the first, one of our first home games, you kind of, we turned around there sitting on the goal line and watched it get raised. You have it in the back of your head, like, these guys have won the past two years. Like, there's the big shoes to fill, but like, at the same time, like, once you come in, they make you feel like family, so like, you feel like you've been there forever. It's something unbelievable, and it's something you know crazy that most kids dream of and don't really get to experience, but some of these guys got to experience it two years in a row, and hopefully it's a third this year. Just in the learning aspect as well, do you just kind of feel like, I want to soak in as much of this as possible? Just watching like Wolfie out there laying the body, I try to like kind of model my game around playing the hard nose game. And for you personally, what does it mean to be a Bulldog and be part of this program? Just to work hard every day and bring your work ethic everywhere you go, be good in the community and just kind of support the Bulldog program as much as I can.
you gotta you gotta work for everything you get. I think that's the biggest thing here is nothing's nothing's given. Everything's earned with everything you do, and uh, it was pretty special to watch and got me really excited and motivated me to work even harder this off season and come even more prepared to come into this season ready to go. Up next, the voice of the UMD Bulldogs, Zach Schneider, joins me as we take a look at the goals from this season so far. But first, who did UMD beat in the 2018 Frozen Four Championship to capture their second ever title? The answer when we return. Only at RJ Sport and Cycle. Quality parts and service. Miller Trunk Highway, Duluth. Brisket is back at Herbert and Gerber's in Duluth, Superior, and Cloquet. Live larger. Go further. Do more. Pursue your passion with Polaris, the world leader in off-road. Live wide open in a high-performance racer. Chase adventure on a legendary sportsman. Or get more done with a hard-working ranger. Enjoy savings up to $3,500 during the Polaris Factory Authorized Clearance. Get your new Polaris ORV from Duluth Lawn and Sport, 4715 Grand Avenue, Duluth. Here at Auto Ace Express Lube, we go the extra mile so you can too. This year, Auto Ace Express Lube pulled off a hat trick. Voted best of the best for oil changes three years in a row. Choose Auto Ace Express Lube for a fast, efficient, quality oil change. Catch. Three. Welcome back into Dog Dynasty. We are going to end this show with a little bit of fun analysis. I am now joined by the definitive voice of the UMD Bulldogs, Mr. Zach Schneider. Zach, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're actually going to see how well you remember the games that you've called this season <laughs> by playing a game called Guess the Call. Uh, we're going to show you a blurred out video of a goal scored this season with a little bit of audio, and you have to guess the player that scored the goal, okay. who it was against, okay. what was the score, and then bonus points if you can provide some sort of description about the goal. Okay. Got it? Broadcasters, I think, and maybe just me, but uh, once you move on to the next weekend, it's sometimes tough to remember details about the past weekends. That's, we do film review as well of ourselves uh, throughout the week, and so this isn't as easy as it probably should seem. No, but that's maybe it's what just makes me. it fun. All right, Ready? Let's do it. We're going to roll the first goal. The far side circle, he'll get back to Perunovic. Delay shot, score! Not a lot to work with. 
But you know, that one is pretty easy. That's Scott Perunovich's power play goal against uh, UMass Lowell. Uh, that came on Friday night and made it 3-1. to one. That was UMD's first goal of the season, unofficial goal of the season, I believe. Uh, power play goal from the top of the point. Let's see if he was right. Back to Perunovic, delay his shot, score! Scott Perunovic, a power play goal, UMD's on the board. That one was pretty easy to remember, being the first goal of the year. It was on the power play. Uh, Scott Perunovic talked about that one after the game as well because he had such a good opening weekend offensively. I think it was Nick Sweeney. It was Nick Sweeney or Noah Cates who was uh, the net front guy on that power play. And... Uh, Scott Prunovic pointed out how good the net front presence was uh, for that shot because it's a pretty harmless looking play for him, uh, but because the goaltender couldn't see the puck uh, from his stick in, it made it a goal, and, and that's what really, again, as broadcasters, we go back and look at for those things, look for what the right. guys are seeing because the next night and then moving forward into the season, we'll be looking for that. And if UMD is able to establish the same type of thing when Prunovich has the puck on the power play moving forward. Good deal. Good for you. Good for Prunovich. All right. Next goal. In the middle, they shut the score! Yeah, that one, uh, Noah Cates uh, against Lowell. Uh, that one came from his brother, Jackson Cates. Uh, so anytime those two hook up, it's it's a pretty special, memorable moment uh, as broadcasters because you get to talk about the brothers. And Noah Cates, you and I have talked about this, is a guy that I expect to have a, a really good sophomore season. Um, that was his first goal of the season in that opening weekend. And, and also on that play, Scott Perunovic made another really good offensive play at the blue line to create the separation, uh, get the puck down low to Jackson, uh, who then passed to Noah. Um, so again, Scott Perunovic, kind of the facilitator uh, this time, but but he's the spark uh, for the offense in a, in a lot of ways for UMD, and, and that's what started that goal down to Jackson and then to Noah. Roll it. Spins one down low, that's Jackson to the middle, he's set to score! Cates to Cates, and it's 3-2! Right on every account, I believe. Unfortunately, the Bulldogs, that was the end of the scoring yes. on Friday night, and, and they ended up losing that, that opener to, to UMass Lowell, but uh, that Cates to Cates goal gave them at least a chance, and, and they made it pretty interesting in the, in the game's final minute. Yes, they did. All right, last goal. This one you might have a tough time with. Roll <laughs> it. He's going to shoot. He scores! That's all you get. That one is tougher. I'm going to say you picked one out of the exhibition game against Alberta. And I'm trying to remember who scored against Alberta. I know Justin Richards scored, but I don't remember exactly what, it, what the circumstances were around that goal. So I am going to say for lack of of a better guess, Justin Richards against Alberta. You want to take a stab at the score? <clears throat> Two to one, UMD. Roll it. Ahead for Richards. Richards gonna shoot, he scores! Justin Richards, a shorthanded goal. One, one, we're tied. Yeah. Justin Richards, the shorthanded goal. That, that one would have uh, maybe jogged something in the exhibition because I, I think it was either him, uh, maybe Cole Kepke, who blocked a shot in the defensive zone on the, on the penalty kill, and then Richards came down on a two-on-one, um, and instead of passing, I was actually thinking of another shorthanded goal uh, that he scored against Lowell uh, when Kepke sent a puck to the front of the net um, and Richards scored uh, on Saturday night against uh, the Riverhawks, but uh, I forgot, uh, to be honest, about the shorthanded goal he scored in the exhibition. It was an exhibition game. It was a practice for you, too. I mean, we, get, right. it, we get it rolling as broadcasters yeah. as well. Well, on all other accounts, you did pretty darn well, and you gave some great analysis. And where can people find you, Zach, before we say goodbye? Well, they can always talk to me on Twitter, uh, zschneider218, uh, if you want to talk to me there uh, in between game days. But most Fridays and Saturdays, uh, my nine sports, some Fox Sports North um, games in there as well. Uh, they can see me and you talking about UMD hockey. Good stuff. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. We will be right back after this.
The Brisket is back at Herbert and Gerber's in Duluth, Superior, and Cloquet. What are you doing, Zach? I'm stacking windows for the big sale, Jerry. You don't have to stack windows. We're stacking savings. It's our Stack to Save a Sale at Heritage Window and Door. Get 20% off with Newell Anderson windows and patio doors. Plus an additional $50 off if you purchase five or more windows. Oh, yeah. And get an additional $100 off per window if you purchase 10 or more. So I guess I don't need to stack these windows. No, you should leave that to the professionals. Guys, what are you doing in the warehouse? Go sell some windows. Newman Jewelers is having a spectacular sale. Everything in stock is up to 30% off. Stop in to find spectacular savings going on now. Numi Jewelers, where true love is guaranteed. Hey champ, you're doing a great job here helping us at Super One Foods. You know, your job here isn't much different than it is at the arena. You stock each shelf full with what everyone needs. You keep the floors nice and clean. And you get all the fans ready for the game, while everyone here gets the store grand opening ready each and every day. We're happy to have you on our team, because we're proud supporters of yours. Super One Foods, serving you low prices and better choices. The Greater Downtown Council celebrates flavors of fall during Eat Downtown Duluth Restaurant Week, November 4th through the 9th, with lunch and dinner specials from these participating restaurants. Culinary mastery, one price, one destination. Visit downtownduluth.com for Eat Downtown menus. It's comforting to know you've made the right decision. One that sets you up for today, as well as tomorrow. One that allows you to appreciate the joys of life. The decision to bank with a financial cooperative. With lower rates and the best financial services available. And easy access, so you can focus on what's most important. Prefer face-to-face? -face? We have that too. Member-owned, member-driven. MPECU belongs to you. The best things about Kohler is that they work with the sales people so that you can get the vehicle that you want. And their service department really is great. There's always somebody right there to help you. If there's ever any issue, they just make sure that you're completely satisfied by the time you leave. And I really like that. It's exactly what I want. Kohler Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac, where you're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. The genuine, the original, overhead door. Call today for garage door system repair, maintenance, or replacement. Located in Hibbing and Duluth, overhead door openers and accessories are designed with your convenience in mind. do it for Dog Dynasty defending the title. Remember, you can catch many of the UMD Bulldog games right here on My9 this season. I'm Kelly Hinseth. Have a good night.